honestly try to use my imagination to come up with as many combinations as I can to brutalize an individual. I visualize the fight second by second, minute by minute. And how I'm gonna overcome those what ifs. And from there I visualize, you know, what I went through in training, you know, the steps that it took to get me here. The younger part of my life, I was always scared. But it's it's like it's kinda hard to like overcome when everybody in your neighborhood doesn't like you for a specific reason. You have to have something about you that either A makes people fear you or B makes people like you. Some people catch on to fighting a lot faster. Guys like me who grew up in it, like it's like it, it was a lifestyle. You don't lock me in a cage with a grown man. He's thinking about it like a competition because he probably didn't grow up like I did. You lock me in there, I can't get home. So I gotta do what I got to in 15 minutes to get out of there. I love fighting. I love the art behind it. I love the science behind it. It's just an animal of its own. You know, once it gets you, it, it, it has you. I would say the only thing that I've ever really sacrificed was time. I don't regret sacrificing that time. A real fighter and a true fighter is always gone, always somewhere else making themselves better. And that just is time taken away from spending time with my girls, spending time with my daughter. But at the same time, like you, you gotta be greedy, you gotta be disciplined. One day from the gym is one day he's at the gym getting better than you. At the same time, I'm thinking like, yo, he probably running too, you know? But what if he's not running on flat grounds? What if he's running up a hill? I need to pick up my pace. I need to go harder. I need to get stronger. The only thing I've ever really sacrificed was time. <laughs>